Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're off to Brick Lane for a very special invitation. And this is to celebrate the launch of the Brick Lane Food Festival. Um, I've just arrived at Orgate Station and this is situated at one end of Brick Lane. And here we are at the beginning of Brick Lane. And this is a very diverse and vibrant area known for its curry houses, which are Bangladeshi owned as well as street art and all the different kind of cuisines of the world. This is the area that my cookbook, Brick Lane Cookbook is based on. So do check out in the description below a uh, link to where you can purchase one. This is a neighborhood which I grew up around. So this is very close to my heart. And between these two buildings, you can glimpse the city of London. So this is a perfect kind of uh, junction between the East End of London and the city of London. So we're just going to have a quick glance around the area and then walk down to our venue. On the right here you can see a place called Sticky Wings which has sadly closed down and before that used to be a place called Sweet and Spicy which I used to love as did many people growing up around the East End and used to be famous for its Pakistani kind of grills and sweet dishes, lassies etc. So I have very fond memories of that place and there's lots to mention around here and notice and talk about but I will do a proper Brick Lane walking tour one day with you. So for now let's walk down to our venue. So we've just arrived at our venue, it's very brightly lit so you can't miss it and in the window there's a lovely looking rickshaw which is a nice touch and now I'm just going to show you the food that's on offer. <laughs> There's so much food on offer, I couldn't try everything of course. There's chot potty, which is one of my favourites. It's a famous Bangladeshi street food of chickpeas, potatoes with tamarind and chopped egg. There's some fried items over there such as beguni, aubergine fritters, fish pakoras and aloo chop. We've got some sautés over here. King prawn buna, biryani, and there's chot potty again. The biryani was made with chicken, roast chicken, and eggs. Here's another whole roast chicken dish with keema or mince and eggs. This is very delicious actually. Got some shutki over here, which is a mash made with dried fish. Some more pakoras, some tamarind chutney, and some chicken tikka. This is very nice, very simple, and delicately flavoured. Mixed veg. I didn't get to try this, but it did look very yummy. This platter had dalibora, lentil fritters, which is one of my favourites, and we've got some kebabs over here or boras made with keema got some more bortas here i believe these were shutki or dried fish got some potato ones over there um, i did try the potato one which is very delicious so the star of the show was this whole fried fish or mach bhaja um, one of my favorites i wish i'd asked um, what kind of fish it was but if you do know let me know in the comments below 
and around the fish we had more burta. Burta is a staple of Bangladeshi cuisine, so it's lovely to see lots of different varieties. Here's nagamorich on top of the burta, a very lethal, spicy, extra spicy chili. And we've got a few more curries and pakoras around here. <laughs> Lovely to see you, Dina. We love you, Dina. I'm really happy to see you guys here. We're excited to host this um, festival on Brick Lane in the heart of the Bangladeshi community. Because as you know, um, Christmas is a festival time for everyone. And we, what we're trying to do, the uh, Brick Lane Bangladesh, Bangladesh Restaurant Association, is uh, promoting our own food this time. The food that we normally prepare and have food at our own house, meaning our, 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 our mothers and parents cook at home. So this is, the, today's event is to promote our home style food to our customers. That's why I went for it. We went. I went all out. Very good. All the other people. We were in the same way. I'll show you some of the fashion. It's time for some food, and here's my plate. I tried to make a nice looking plate. Um, this isn't a large plate, in case you're wondering, I didn't eat all of the food and um, so I tried to get a selection of everything, got some of the biryani, um, the dalibora, um, I tried some of the tikka and a little bit of the portas, as well as a chopped liver curry or college abuna, which was very nice. to walk down to Brambangla you know with the owners. So this is our new decoration, Ramon Bar. I love it. You like it? Today, you have for me, but yesterday, you literally followed it. Yeah. So we bought the main area here. It's super. This changed so much since I came last time. Uh -huh. Do you like our king wall? Lovely. What kind of bottles are they? This one is cask. Cask if it's small fish, dry fish is smashed. This one is potato fish smashed. This one is bean is smashed. Lentil is smashed. Dry fish is smashed. The fish and potato mix is smashed. This one is tomato smashed. Okay, you see there, it's tomato is smashed, this one is pumpkin is smashed, mm -hmm. this one is brindle is smashed. Oh, so these are all the butters? Yes, the butters. And you've got different curries yes, here as well? Curry. Mm -hmm. Yes, this one is beef curry, mm -hmm. first one, the second one is chicken curry, mm -hmm. this one is bread, mm -hmm. this one is fish egg, mm -hmm. this one is uh, vegetables with corn and dry fish, yes. this one is roe fish, mm -hmm. this one is papa fish, and this one is wild fish. 
Oh, brilliant. It's very fun. Nice, thank you. All the chilies in the prep area here. We've got the chef here. Hello. 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 Are you the main chef here? Well, I try my level best, you know. Oh, hello. So I'm Gina, um, yeah. food writer with the Brooklyn Cookbook. That's here. Very so, good. And, nice to meet you. Uh, oh, nice to meet you too. So um, I haven't been since it's open. I thought um, Gulzar Bay brought us over to just check it out. 100% so authentic. Yes, it's lovely to see all the ethnic food. So um, how, what do you think in terms of promoting Bangladeshi food? Are you really passionate about promoting all the uh, traditional dishes and things well, like that? Can I say Bengali or...? Siliti. Is this more Siliti? Actually, I feel they were under grandfather, uncle, they were always in Indian cuisine. And now the India took the benefit in it. So, um, you know that it's 95% is Bengali people, Bengali chef, they run this business. Now, I'm trying to promote my own cuisine. It's called Alu Borta and Begun Borta. That's why I try to promote our own dish and own cuisine. Brilliant, thank you so much. And what's your favorite dish? Would you recommend if anyone came here to eat? I, I love uh, boiled fish. Boiled fish, yeah, yes. both very nice. And in terms of the porta, what's your favorite? The porta, we go um, elephant kind of porta. Mm -hmm. Really nice to see. So thank nice you so much you. for nice. presenting all the Bangladeshi food. Thank you. So I hope to try it one day. <laughs> we already eaten so much today, but I'll pop by another day. <laughs> we do, we do a special uh, masala. Oh, brilliant! I love chai. You know, we should call it dud cha, not yeah, chai. So we're, we'll have try a try a traditional cha. Thanks so much. Thank you. So all the eating and drinking is done, so we're off to see an art exhibition by a friend of mine at the Kobe Nostril Centre, which is on Hanbury Street, just off Brick Lane. Hi everyone, I'm Rahim Rahman. Welcome to My Home, My Body, which is at the Kobe Nazro between now and to the 14th of December, where we'll have a closing ceremony. Um, for me, this exhibition is celebrating Bangladesh legacy. It's understanding the future, understanding the past, 
celebrating the women. I'm going to work with more young people where the, the, the power balance is equal. I don't see them as anything less than but supporting artists. They supported me throughout this whole thing and I, for me, I'm really celebrating them in this space. Um, this exhibition will continue on. It's going on to the Museum of the Home where we will continue celebrating my home and my body but through the eyes of the women. Because um, right now, they, the bangles represent the women who basically let the men who are around this space do what they do. Brilliant. Um, and it's quite an indestructible textile which you get to completely play with. Love um, it. It's really yeah. good. And I hope you come visit it soon. Thank you so much. Can I have a box of those? Um, I think I have four of them, please. Four? Yes. So I'm just getting my favourite cheesecake from the big on shop on Brick Lane, which is also in my book. And um, we've got so many nice things here, so I can't wait for that. And um, I might get some of these elegant ears, or palm ears. So I was going to get this one, but I decided to get the coconut, recommended by the lovely lady here. I've got these ones here as well, which I'm going to try next time. What before. else do you want? Um, I think that's it. I've got another so that was a very fun evening. I've got my sweets from the bagel shop and now I am off home and you can see this is the other end of Brick Lane. So I've literally walked through the street and we're in Shoreditch now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, subscribe and share and I'll see you next time.